my hands before I started, um, right after I clean my, put on some clean <laughs> socks. All right, so there you go. You can see this flavor dripping off. Now I took a moment and I preheated this grill because I want these grill marks, you're going to hear it, you're going to hear yeah. a sizzle. I want these grill marks to be front and center. All right, you can hear that. Now, you don't want to you don't want to keep poking and prodding at your meat because that's going to release all the juices. You just want to poke and prod it once or twice and on on the end. I could have got real fancy and done two different marinades, but uh, you know the kids they don't like fancy. Oh, look at that. That's a beautiful piece of meat right there. All right, this lion broil, I'm going to put, cook it about four, four minutes, and I'm going to turn it, cook it another four minutes, and I'm going to flip it and do the same. This is going to allow for, what's that, four and four. Hold on. That's going to allow for 16 minutes of cooking. So you're going to want to let it really have, because otherwise the crew here, they don't like it raw or medium rare. Now, Personally, if you're cooking it over medium rare, you're killing your, your cow. There's no reason to kill the cow twice. So, let me talk about our accompaniments for this. Uh, today's uh, accompaniments for, for this meal. Beautiful corn and uh, red bean salad. All right, otherwise known as uh, cowboy caviar. Took and roasted some some corn, chopped up some onions, got some kidney beans and some black beans, onions, cilantro, little cumin, lemon and lime, fresh squeezed lemon and lime, right over here. You can see these weren't squeezed, but their brothers and sisters were this morning. They're okay. They're okay. Now you can repurpose your lemon uh, and lime peels. And make some nice infused oils but I'm not doing that all right and then when it's time to finish the beef the beef is over there that's where the beef is when it's time to finish the beef <laughs> I've got this great chimichurri sauce now in this chimichurri there's a uh, cilantro there's lemon lime garlic lots and lots and lots of garlic uh, what else was there onions uh, and yeah, that's about it. A uh, little salt and pepper to taste. This is beautiful. You can do it right in your uh, food processor. Maybe a little bit of uh, oil to spread it out, but the lemon and lime juice really spread the flavor nicely, make it taste good. All right, so that's about four minutes. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna turn this beef one quarter of a turn. Now you may be saying, Chef Chip, I thought you said that was London broil. Shouldn't that be broiled? Well, yes, but no. 
there's more than one ways to skin a cat. There's over 101 ways to cook an egg. So today we're going to do, we're going to grill up, a, we're going to grill this up. This goes wonderful on the grill. No need to worry. Don't worry. All right, I'm flipping this. Look, all right, a little bit of grill mark. We're going to get this a little bit closer to the fire over here because now we're cooking with fire. Great man once said, no, you're cooking with gas. All right, Hank Hill got nothing on me. You don't need no <laughs> pro propane or propane accessories. All right, well, I'm just going to keep this going. I'm going to inspire you all uh, to uh, explore your culinary uh Explore your culinary talents and go a little bit further. Dig deep. Really the culinary annals and get out and barbecue. All right? I'm wishing you and yours a wonderful Memorial Day. Thank you very much, and I'll see you somewhere this summer. Don't forget, Camp Kind of Laika. You might see me there cooking and stuff. Thank you very much. Happy Memorial Day.